Good morning. Heading downstairs into the bunker. Little, little, little uh, built-in part of this old cabin. It's important. It wasn't always like this when we bought it, but it's been converted. And uh, I got some exciting things to go over, man. Really exciting. What Something. do we have here? What do we have here? This is pretty exciting, man. If you guys know me, you know me for real. I'm not like a crazy, you know, uh, doomsday guy. But I'm a prepper. And I do uh, a little bit of, boy, a bit of like, you know, country boy knowledge, poor kid motivation with technology and funding that can now support it. So what is this and why do I have a cup? This is really cool, man. Let me Atmospheric water generator. Something you can literally plug in overnight, walk back in the morning, have a couple gallons of fresh water, literally ready to drink. So with no prep, with no anything, we're going to walk up. We're going to put our cup. We're going to tell it to dispense. Oh, look at, look at, look at here. We're going to go ahead and tell this to stop. Let's see here. I press stop, stop, boom, water turns off. And I got a nice, beautiful, there was some shit in this cup. Man, stand by. This is what happens when you have kids and they use these damn cups for things. They don't wash them and rinse them all the way. You pull them out of the shelf. So stand by. Let's go back down, let's get some water. Got a new cup, don't worry. Oh, we got a new cup. Hustle until your haters are asking if you're hiring. That's a damn fact, and that's played out quite a few times. So let's go ahead and press dispense. Boom. Water's flowing. Again, we'll talk about why this is unique in just a minute, but this is actually a really cool thing. Gonna go ahead and press stop. Where's it at? There it is. Stop. Boom. All right. Still a lot of water on deck. Probably about two gallons in there, I'm assuming. Not really sure. All right, here. Hey, Rocky boy. So why is this let's really cool? Game. Let's take let's take a little taste test. You got, you got a taste test thing, so hold on a second. Man, that's good. Basically like a cup of bottled water. But why is this important and why is this so unique? And I think everybody should have two or three in the All right, so house. a water generator and really what is a water generator? It's nothing but a fancy uh, dehumidifier with like an AC component to it. So you can make your own water very easily with an AC unit. Um, but it's not going to be where you can just walk up and drink it and it's collecting it correctly. It's got a built-in pressurized uh, tri-chamber water filter. It's obviously got huge condenser and a coil up there. And all it's doing is... You plug it in and you walk away. You walk up at any point in time after a couple hours and you're always going to have fresh water to drink that is filtered. I mean, when you're getting water out of the air um, in a atmospheric thing, so basically think how a dehumidifier works, right? You can use any dehumidifier to make your own water in case of an emergency. You can use any air conditioner unit to make your own water in case of an emergency. But this just puts it all together and one little compact unit that all you have to literally do is walk up, plug the damn thing in, and let it do its thing. And just like that, you're going to be able to come down uh, to literally a gallon and a half of fresh water at any point in time. But keep in mind, this can generate, with the way it's set up right now, 10 gallons of fresh water a day. So if you had literally just two or three of these running in parallel, I mean... <laughs> That's pretty damn cool when you really So I need some more time with this unit for sure to really, really push it and really see different parts of the house, how much water it can make, how much water it can generate if we put it outside. And then we're going to do some really cool things. We're going to take it and we're going to hook it up to an EcoFlow battery. Uh, one of the EcoFlow's primary batteries running 3.5 kilowatts. We're going to plug that battery into a solar panel. So we have direct uh, PV energy coming in, being converted kicked back out and running the water generator outside and then we'll do a test on how much time it takes to produce gallon and a half of fresh water while under 100 percent sun energy meaning pull from the sun so what we'll do I, I think the way this will work the best is we will eliminate one of these batteries down to like maybe one to five percent of energy so basically nothing we'll then hook that up to a solar panel plug it direct in direct solar in and immediately plug the water generator into the battery running off solar and we'll be able to get a really good understanding of can a thousand watt solar panel not even a thousand watt we're running eight to four hundred so eight hundred watts of solar into a battery battery directly charging the aquafan and we're going to see if that's enough to literally produce 100 percent off grid outside gallon and a half of water and how much time that will take that, so seeing how one of the things they recommend is the first couple containers full just to uh it's old little little drain for the old well pump right there. Old tankless hot water here. Don't get it it. Yes, I'm very careful what I'm showing you with this camera right now. There's a lot more down here. I don't want to have on camera. But again, you walk up any point in time of day. You have your liter 
you know, metal cool water bottle and you just, right before you leave the house, you're literally leaving with, I mean, just pure water, like pure water, no chemicals, no nothing, pure water, love it. Just three carbon filters in the back. You really don't even need filters to consume this water. You really don't. Um, but, you know, you wanted to, you could use it. Why am I pouring it out? I'm just running a couple glasses through this thing. Obviously, it's a new piece of uh, technology. I've already taken some sips on it. But one of the things they recommend is complete full level. Pour that water out. Use it for your plants or whatever. Right now, I'm just pouring it back into my drain. But we're on well water as well, so it's not a big deal. And um, after that, you're good to go. So, so far, big thumbs up. Works just like it's supposed to. I'm taking water out of the air in my basement, which is a good thing turning it into purified drinking water, which is a great thing, and having my own ability to produce water at any one time, which is a great thing. So, three thumbs up. Let's roll.